why did you decide the real estate investor between all the other careers? Why real estate investing? With the construction background that we have, we're doing all of these renovations and rehabs for our customers. Why not do it for our own properties? Hey everyone, I'm Olivia from Houses Flipping People and I'm here today in Dallas, Texas with Terry, one of our top real estate investors and she's ready to share her journey how she became a real estate investor herself. So how long have you been a real estate investor? We've been a real estate investor for about 18 months. How was your first deal and how did you find it? Our first deal came through our network within our organization. So we were doing some of the meetups and we were telling people that we're general contractors and a really super great lady brought us a deal that she had found and needed help on the rehab section part of the, of the deal. So we partnered with her and we were responsible for doing the complete rehab on the house. And that what was the challenge that you found with that particular deal? The biggest challenge with that particular deal is once we had gotten the house complete, we still had a problem with cigarette smoke smell in that house. So how did you end up fixing that issue? So we started out painting the house thinking if we got the paint done with the primer and two layers of paint. We taken all the flooring out, all the cabinetry in the kitchen and the bathrooms, everything was taken out of this house. And we had the air ducts clean, the HVAC system completely cleaned and sanitized professionally. How much was the, the treatment? Do you remember how much it was? I would say altogether probably around a thousand dollars. So Terry, uh, what was your uh, career before you became a real estate investor? The career I had before becoming a real estate investor was a massage therapist and health and life coach. Being a health coach, do you do you feel like your experience from your past, from your previous job, do you think that helped you throughout your process as an investor today? Definitely. As a coach, I'm used to asking questions and then waiting for answers and listening closely. So being able to pinpoint and ask questions to really find out what the homeowner or the seller is trying to accomplish and what their biggest needs are. I feel like that helps me definitely. Being able to just run a business and knowing how to run a business, the whole bookkeeping aspect, you know, taxes, LLC formations, all of that, having had a business and running a business in the past just transfers over whether, you know, a lot of that is doesn't matter what type of business it is, it's still the same. When you told your parents that you're going to become a real estate investor, how was their reaction? Their reaction was positive. They know that we're business owners and have been business owners. They were really positive about it. Do you have any family member being a real estate investor with you? My daughter, however, is part of our team. She and her husband work with us in our construction company as well as the investing side of our, our business as well. So. We've partnered together on deals and investments and pulled our money together and been able to do more that way. It must be a rewarding for you as a mom to be that close to your daughter and get, have something in common back and forth to be able to grow and learn together. How is the relationship with your daughter and how do you manage, like I'm not just a mom, she's part of the business? I homeschooled her growing up and our relationship changed as she became an adult and got married and realizing she's my best friend now. Being able to transform that relationship into an adult-adult relationship, we rely on each other's expertise and opinions, and so having that person, that confidant that you can run things by, it's like, I want your take on this. Here's what I'm thinking, but you tell me what, you know, and she can see my blind spots, I can see her blind spots, and so just, we're a really good team. Who convinced the home to come in? Did she just, saw how you were doing and wants to come in or did you actually invite her to come in? How was the transition or the invitation going back and forth? So I listened to a 45 minute YouTube video where Phil Groves was talking about their three day weekend and inviting people to come and do that. And once I finished it, I think I was in the kitchen cooking, listening with my earbuds or whatever. And they're sitting in the living room and uh, I walked in there and I said, family, Hey, look what I found. We're gonna go do this. The answer is yes, right? <laughs> You're gonna go with me. So um, they're like, sure, sounds good. And so they decided to go with me. I booked the three-day weekend for all of us to go and spend 
three days and listen to uh, Phil and Shanoa present all of the information that they have, which was, I'm glad all three of us were there to, to listen because it was a lot of information, so much good information, so much learning, so much education. What was your biggest fear when you made that decision? This is the path that we're going for. My biggest fear, I think it's that I'll make the wrong decision or that I'll make a mistake, but having the community having the network, having so much experience available for me to reach out and ask questions, to have that, that security and know that this network is, is my family. And having this network and this community of, of experienced people, of experienced real estate investors, helps me to get over those fears and to move forward and to be bold and to have the confidence because I know I'm not there by myself and you're not the only one making mistakes. Most of the time, I'm so worried that I'm going to make a mistake. But if we're not making mistakes, we're not growing, we're not pushing to the next level. Well, I think with mistakes too, you can look at it as a mistake and a failure. And I think, like you said, as children growing up and in our school systems, when you make a mistake, that's a failure. But I think in the business world and in the real estate, when you make a mistake, if you learn something from it, it's a win. What do you do to keep yourself motivated? I wanna set myself up to be able to take care of myself financially in my latter years, whether my husband is here or not. Um, you know, We're working together as a team right now, but I just wanna make sure that I understand the business. I am knowledgeable about the investments that we have. I understand how to do the real estate investing all aspects of it so that if the need ever arose that I could manage the business, I would be able to still run it. I wouldn't have to change the quality of lifestyle that I have. I wouldn't have to rely on my children to take care of me or the government or anyone else that I am able to continue to financially support myself in the manner that I want to live. So if you could send any message to a woman out there today, yes. regardless where they come from, their age, which message will you send it to them? I would say I would seriously take a look at real estate investing and getting with the right network of people and the right group of people to help you. There are lots of people out there that will help you. You can do this and this could set you up for success for the rest of your life and maybe even leave a legacy for your kids. Uh, when did you realize that real estate was actually going to work for you? I think that three-day weekend when we sat down and listened to all that information and knowledge and education that we got with Phil and Shanoa that on that three-day weekend, it made sense. And I'm like, we can do this. This is gonna work for us. There, this will this will work. Do you remember any aha moment throughout the process? Oh my gosh, there were so many. <laughs> Talking about how to acquire properties, how to apply so many different strategies. It's like we learn within our network and within our education that we've got multiple strategies that we can apply to any, any one product or any one property. And so we find a property, it looks like it you know, would work. We can sit there and and just run through the numbers and run through the alternatives. Like, do we want to fix and flip it? Do we want to keep it as a long-term rental? Do we want to keep it as an Airbnb? Do we want to wholesale it? I mean, there's just so many options in different ways that you can make money in real estate. The fact that all this strategy has been here for decades and just recently we both discovered and I'm like, what was I doing before? Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's why we're here sharing your journey because I do want other people to have the same opportunity that we have that we are working every day to keep growing and learning because real estate works. This is not just us talking. More than 80% of the millionaires in this country around the world has become millionaire, multimillionaire through real estate. It's just not just the pretty house, but it's our journey as an investor, the behind the scenes of those houses that we are creating and renovating and everybody that we're touching lives every day. With this particular deal that you are working on right now, how did you find this deal? We found this through our network. We have lots of opportunities to network in person at different meetups throughout the month. And we had met a really, really sweet lady. She had this property 
that she had no education or no background in construction. And so she didn't know how to renovate this property. And it was one of the first deals that she had found. And so she wanted to find someone who was experienced in rehab and, re and renovation. And so she brought the deal and we looked it over and realized that it was a good, good deal, good buy. She had it under contract. And so we decided to move forward with it. Do you remember how much you paid for this particular property? We paid 295000 for the property. Do you remember what was the renovation? The renovation was 47000 What is the profit on this one? We profited around 35000 on the on the property. How much do you rely on our network? As far as growing our business, the knowledge that, when, you know, things that we don't know in the real estate industry, learning about different ways to finance deals, all the different categories of, of real estate investing, with single family, multifamily, commercial, retail, warehousing, all of those types of things. I say we rely a lot. <laughs> it's a very large percentage. This community is like our extended family. We know if you didn't step on that video with Phil, you would probably not be here today sharing your journey. That's true, very true. So. How much has real estate transformed your life? I think it's made a significant transformation. It's changed the direction of our business. It's changed the outlook and the direction moving forward in our personal finances and how we're going to set ourselves up, how we're going to set our children up for the future. It's made a very, very large and significant difference. How is that? With the business aspect, you know, we're not just doing jobs. Now it's I think, taken our business to the next level where we are able to expand and grow our business uh, way more than we ever thought we were gonna be able to do. Again, you can't do this by yourself. When you're a small business owner, working the trenches with yourself, you know, and, and by yourself. And now we have a network of people that we're coming alongside. It's transformed just the sheer volume work that we can do. Personally, our personal finances, the education that we've received in this network, in this community, has transformed the way we're moving forward with all of the assets that we own, with all of our financial, uh, personal finances, being able to better leverage and to grow and be more in control. Before, we might have had, you know, some mutual funds and, you know, stocks and bonds and things like that. We weren't really involved. And now being able to be involved directly with some different construction projects, commercial projects, things like that, I feel like I'm in control, we're in control of our finances and how quickly or not that they grow and how much we can actually make by directing it ourselves and being more in the, the driver's seat of that. And in, in the result, it's going to grow our estate and grow all wealth. What do you do for fun today? It's fun just going to look at houses in the neighborhoods. It's fun doing the networking and meeting with new people that are coming into the network, as well as meeting some great friends um, along the way. We enjoy traveling. When was the last time that you went on vacation? Just a couple of months ago. Okay, where did you went? We went to Cancun, Mexico. Love that place. It's easy, no headache, and it's always fun. From Dallas, there's no reason not to go. Two and a half hours direct flight, you're there. I feel like I, I live in, in Mexico just because it's so convenient. It's so easy to get into it. Do you see yourself, are you proud of yourself? Yes, definitely. Being a woman business owner has given me confidence. Being able to be part of this network and grow my friendships and relationships, being able to help new people that are coming into the network, into the community, and share my expertise with them. I love teaching people new things, and so being able to share our experiences, being able to share our knowledge, it, it just makes you feel proud, feel success. Rewarding. Do you think your family is proud of you? Yes. Yes, definitely. And I think as, you know, the same way that we wanted to be proud of our kids, we wanted them to be proud of us to look up for us and, and share and, and see our success. Do you see that they look at you right now like, yeah, that's my mom. Yeah, we're doing this together. Or yeah, that's, you know, do you think that is that going back and forth? Oh, definitely. Because definitely. we're working on projects all the time, every day, every week. And so we meet new, new investors or new partners or whatever. 
we always tell ourselves, this is my mom, this is my dad, mm-hmm. this is my daughter. I think it's, it's beautiful to to be able to commune and then share that back and forth. Since you became a real estate investor, how many deals have you done? We've done two fix and flips, and then we've also invested in three other commercial properties. Okay, so I can see that you're going toward bringing commercial to your life sooner than later? Yes, my goal by the end of the year is to help uh, what multifamily. How much money have you made since you turned around your journey? Between 150 and 200,000. When you see those number in compared to being a massage therapy, that is a great business. What's the difference? How many years would that take for you to, to say those numbers? A very long time. <laughs> One client at a time. Very long time. Years. Do you see yourself retiring anytime soon from real estate? I don't think we'll ever retire. I don't think we'll ever stop being involved in some aspect of, of real estate investing, whether it's swinging hammers, you know, doing the construction side of that or consulting on construction or investing in commercial and multifamily, maybe even some warehousing space. The list is endless. You just need to have some more time in the clock and more energy. Exactly. We can magnify the amount of work we can get accomplished because we are working with that network, working with multiple people. And you don't have to do everything alone. You can't do it by yourself. You can, but in a very small amount. Yes, very small. Not the scale that we would like to see. Yes. Who do you like to thank you for you to be here today? I would like to thank Phil and Shinola for putting together this network, for making and creating this network where I feel completely safe and I trust everyone in this network to be able to do business. Do Olivia for putting together a lot of the networking and hosting. Yeah, this is an amazing coaches, people that have walked along with us for a year and helped with every question under the sun that we've had where we can literally take that to them one-on-one and be able to ask those questions and get those answers very quickly. So you can hop on any day of the week and get your questions answered and to continue our education.